and welcome back to another episode of the Ramadan series. So in this episode, we are going to learn about how we can protect ourselves from evil eye, from nazar, because a lot of the times um, in society we always see that everyone wants to go and see somebody, speak to somebody, in order to get some form of ta'weez, uh, to protect themselves from nazar. But alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we are taught through the sunnah um, from Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, through the Qur'an, to do this, and inshallah, you will be protected. So inshallah, by the end of this video, you can protect yourselves, protect your loved ones, protect your household and your family from nazar by simply reciting these surahs. So isn't that alhamdulillah rewarding to watch this video? So inshallah if you do benefit, do spread the message and keep spreading the message. So alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, others can also benefit. So let's look at the first hadith from Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, Razila anhu. He reported that the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to seek protection against the evil of jinn and the evil eyes. So this is Nazar till Surat al-Falaq and Surat al-Nas were revealed. After they were revealed, he took to them for seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's protection and left everything besides them. So this shows us that Surat al-Nas and Surat al-Falaq are the only two surahs that we should be reciting if we feel that somebody um, has got some form of nazar upon them or if we feel that we are likely prone to get nazar then alhamdulillah these are the only two surahs that we should be reciting so these are the last surahs in the Quran please make sure that you do memorize these and teach these to your children from a very young age that they can also recite them, memorize them and get them into a pattern, into a habit of reciting before they go to bed inshallah 